Hi, and welcome to Digimerge TV. Today we're going to show you how to record video from your Digimerge Synchro IP series cameras to your PC hard drive or NAS network area storage device using the Synchro V software. Synchro V is included free with the cameras and supports multiple recording options for versatile applications. There are three basic types of recording supported continuous 24 7, motion activated, and scheduled recording. Synchro V can record video from your IP cameras to your PC hard drive or to a NAS device on your local network. This allows you to record large amounts of HD video. The Synchro V client software performs the recording, so the software must be running and your computer must not be in sleep or hibernate mode. Before setting up recording, you must first set the correct date and time in the camera. This will ensure accurate video timestamps. The camera is set to sync with an internet NTP time server by default, but you must configure the time zone and daylight savings settings to ensure accuracy. To set the time for your cameras, click Device Manager, then Video Device Management. Click the camera you wish to configure in the device list. Note that you will need to configure the time for each camera individually. Click Device Hardware, then Date and Time. Under Time Zone, select your time zone. If your region observes Daylight Savings Time, check Adjust Clock for Daylight Saving Changes. Click Apply next to Current Computer Time to save your changes. Click OK. Now that you have set the time, you can start recording. Firstly, you must select PC or NAS storage locations in Synchro V. Click System Manager, then Concentrate Record followed by Store Config. Click Add. Under Disk Type, select Hard Disk to save recordings to your PC's hard drive, or NAS to save them to a NAS device. If you select Hard Disk, check Enable. Click Browse to select a directory on your local computer to save recordings to. It is recommended to save recordings to a different hard drive than your main system hard drive. You can only select one recording directory on each hard drive. Under Group ID, select 1 through 8 to assign an ID to this storage location. Note that a group can include multiple destinations for simultaneous recording, for example to a local folder as well as to a NAS. The group ID is useful if you have a large number of IP cameras because you can balance your recordings across multiple hard drives by assigning them different IDs. Check Use All Space to allow Synchro V to record until the hard drive is full. To limit the amount of space available for recording, uncheck Use All Space, and under Usable Space, enter in the number of megabytes you would like to make available for recording. If you select NAS, under IP, enter the IP address of your NAS device. Under Path, enter the NAS folder where video files will be saved. NAS folder must be located directly under the root folder of the NAS. For example, slash IP camera. Under Accounts, enter the account username for your NAS. Under Password, enter the account password for your NAS. Under Group ID, select Group 1 through 8. Under Use All Space, Check to enable the camera to record until the NAS is full. Uncheck to limit the amount of space the camera can record on, and enter the amount of space in megabytes available to the camera under Usable Space. Click Add to the directory. Click Save to save your changes. Once you have finished selecting recording locations, you should now set the recording parameters for your cameras. You must set recording parameters individually for each camera you would like to record from. To set the recording parameters, first select the camera. Click System Manager, then Concentrate Record, followed by Record Manager. Then click Add. Select the cameras you would like to record and click Add. Now configure the recording settings. Click on a camera you wish to configure. Click Config. For continuous or scheduled recording, Check Enable under Schedule Record. Select 724H Record for continuous recording or select Schedule Record and then click Time Setting to create a recording schedule. Check the day or days of the week you would like to add to the schedule. Select a begin time and end time and then click Add. 
For motion detection recording, check Enable under Motion Detection Alarm Record. Set the time for pre-recording under Pre-Time, and set the time for post-recording under Delay Time. Note that you must enable motion detection and select motion areas for the camera to enable motion recording. See the Synchro V manual for more details. Check Audio Record if you wish to enable audio recording. Note that a microphone must be connected to the camera to record audio. Under Disk Group, select the group ID that you used when setting up your hard disk or NAS recording location. Select Circle Store while disk is full to record using all available space before overwriting old recordings, or select Save Days and enter the number of days of video you would like to save. Under Stream, select the camera stream you would like to record. Select Stream 1 to record high quality video over the local area network. Select Stream 2 for lower resolution recordings. Recording from Stream 1 provides a superior image but requires more hard drive space and bandwidth than Stream 2. It is not recommended over the internet. Click Save to save your settings. You are now ready to record. Repeat the previous steps for your other cameras, then click the arrow in the Recording Manager to begin recording according to your specified parameters. Cameras that are currently recording are shown with a green dot icon. Note that if you want to change the recording parameters later, you will need to click the stop button to stop the recording service and click the arrow again to resume when you have finished making changes. We're now going to let Synchro V record some video. Now that we have some recorded footage, we can use Synchro V to go in and play it back. To play back your video, Click Playback, then Record Playback. Select Local Playback and choose the cameras you would like to playback from the list. At the bottom of the screen, enter a start time and end time where you would like to search for video. Click Search. If video is available during the selected time period, it will appear in the sliders on the right side of the screen. Green areas indicate continuous recording took place. Red areas represent alarm recording. Click the arrow to begin playback. Use the seek bar to select a different playback time. This completes our tutorial. For more information on Synchro IP, please visit www.digimerge.com. Thanks for tuning in.